Welcome to Machine Embroider Your Life from American Quilter Society and Everstone. In this series, we're making nine projects all on the Sparrow X. This time, we're embellishing a child's dress with continuous line embroidery along the bottom. Let's get started. First, we're going to need some supplies. I have a piece of cutaway stabilizer and a longer piece of adhesive stabilizer, my 120 by 180 millimeter hoop, a couple different marking tools, a ruler, pair of scissors, my embroidery thread, I have my child's dress already washed, and I have my Eversun Pro app loaded on my smart device. You can find a link to the written instructions down in the description. I've already got my cutaway stabilizer hooped, so I'm going to install that in my embroidery machine, and we're going to start the design process in order to make a placement guide. So with that installed, let's move to our smart device on the Eversun Pro app. I've opened up my Eversun Pro app. I'm going to click the Patterns tab, and then the My Design folder, because this is a design I purchased earlier. I'm going to open it up. It takes me to the information page. Um, some really great information to note in this is the size. So I've got my length and width here. And using that size, I'm able to measure my dress, make sure that as many repeats as I want kind of mathematically work out. I'm going to hit the pencil button up in the top right corner. That's going to send the design to the editing board. I'm going to move it to the center by clicking the button in the bottom with all the arrows pointing towards the center. Then I'd be able to use these green buttons to make it whatever size I need it to be. So I'd actually like mine to be about 173, which is lovely. And I'm going to go ahead and recenter it one more time just so it's perfect. And with that all set, I'm going to send it to my machine by clicking that machine icon up in the upper right corner and we'll get to stitching. I have the design all loaded into the machine. So with my cutaway loaded in the hoop, I'm going to start the stitch out. With the stitch out finished on my placement guide, I'm going to start marking just a few things that'll help me later. So I'm going to mark the center point. So I'm lining up my ruler and I'm just using a pencil. I don't need very dark markings. And then I like to put a little X down where the clamp is. This helps me orient it later. And then I'm going to draw around the inside of the inner hoop. Then I can unhoop my stabilizer and I'm going to cut out on that marked inner hoop line. Now with my placement created, I'm going to be able to place it on the dress and start to see what it looks like, where I want it to fall. And then from there, I can bring my ruler and I want to line it up to the halfway point of my placement guide along the edge of the dress. And so it looks about one and three quarters from the edge of the dress is the center point of my guide. So I'm going to move the guide out of the way, line everything back up. And then with a water soluble marker, I'm going to mark the inside of the dress. I'm going to move the dress over and do that same measurement on either side. Mark that line around the entire area that you're going to be embroidering and then maybe a little bit past it to help you with placement later. I'm only embroidering the front of my dress, so I only marked the front. Then I'm going to take my water soluble sticky stabilizer and I've cut myself a length that is longer than the area I'm going to be embroidering. And I'm going to take the mesh side of it um, and lay it out with my ruler. I'm going to mark the center with my marker and I'm just creating a straight line that we're going to be able to line up with the straight line we made on the dress earlier. So I just want it nice and even. And 
and I want it down the entire length of my stabilizer. For our first hooping, I am lining up my stabilizer in the middle. So I've got two long bits on either end and I've got the paper side of the stabilizer up and I'm lining up the marked center to the center of my hoop. So as I get that lined up, I'm going to press the inner hoop into the outer hoop, making sure everything stays aligned. And there it did. I'm going to close the clamp and then tighten that screw down until it's nice and tight. Okay. I'm going to turn it over, gently push it even to the edges so everything's nice and taut. With the edges all taut, I'm now going to score the paper and then pull it away from the adhesive stabilizer. And because we've marked the back side of the stabilizer, our line is still going to be there. So now I have my placement guide and looking at where the clamp is and that little X I made, I'm able to make sure I've got this all completely oriented correctly. And I do. So with that in mind, I'm going to bring the wrong side of my dress and I can just kind of casually fold it on that marked line we made earlier. Find the center, which is right there, and start lining up the marked line with the marked line of my stabilizer. And I'm just going to very gently, right where that line is, start to press it into the adhesive and just work a little bit at a time, starting from the center and working my way out. Once I've got the line just like I want it, I can fold everything else out again and adhere it. Make sure there's no wrinkles, no little bunched up bits. Because the dress is floating in the hoop at this point, I'm going to take a few pins just to help stabilize the fabric in the hoop. I'm pinning through that stabilizer layer. I like to keep it at the edge of the hoop so it doesn't get in the way of any stitching. Once I have it all stabilized and I have my pins in place, I can install the embroidery hoop in the machine. And then I like to fold the dress over itself a little with that inside layer so it's out of my way. Um, if you want to, you could use like a hair clip or some wonder clips to help secure that. With the embroidery design returned to the beginning on my Eversewn Pro app, I'm ready to stitch. Now that our first stitch out is all done, we're ready to re-hoop. So I'm going to remove the pins, I'm going to unclamp it, and I'm going to remove the inner hoop. I'm going to start working the next design going out to my left. And to help me with placement, I'm going to go ahead and rip out the paper for that section. So I can go ahead and totally stick the dress to it now. So we're going to do just like we did earlier, lining up the blue line of the dress to the blue line of the stabilizer. And so I'm just taking my time with it, making sure they stay lined up. Um, if your dress is smaller and you're having trouble with it, uh, curving on you as you start to get closer to the seam, you can rip out those side seams and restitch them later. There we go. 
With the dress all stabilized, take your placement guide, fold back the edge that's going to go against the design we just stitched. I like to fold it back so that all the stitches are showing. And then you take that edge and you line it up against the end of the design you've already stitched. I like to have those stitches showing on top because then I know as I fold it back over, it'll have just a tiny little bit of overlap, so I'm gonna get a really good placement. Then I'm going to want to straighten up that center line. And see here, I can pull back and make sure that it's aligned at that end. And one more check to make sure all those stitches are lined up like I want. Then I'm going to come in with some pins and I'm going to pin my placement guide in place. With my placement guide in place, I like to place the inner hoop over it first, get it all aligned to that inside edge, and then kind of holding it, I bring my outer hoop underneath that and start to get them lined up. Um, you'll really want to loosen the nut on the hoop because we're just putting a lot of layers through it. This time we're actually hooping the dress so just start slowly getting it all lined up. Take your time with it because this really is going to pay off later. If you're having a lot of trouble with keeping the inner hoop in the right spot with the placement guide, you could put a little bit of double-sided tape on the back side of the inner hoop. But if you just take your time, you should be able to get it all lined up. And then once you do, you just press the inner hoop into the outer hoop. Once you get the inner hoop in, clamp it, get everything happily situated. Take your placement guide off. And then smooth out any little wrinkles from the dress. You're gonna wanna tighten down. And even though we've got part of the dress hooped, that outer edge is floating. So let's go ahead and put a few pins in it. All right. And with that all hooped, we're going to install it in the embroidery machine and start our second stitch out. I have my embroidery hoop installed in the machine. I've returned the design to beginning in the Everstone Pro app, and I'm ready to start stitching. To complete the continuous line on your dress, you would just keep rehooping and stitching out as we did in the previous step until the line is complete. I have a dress here I've already finished. I made it earlier with a very cute, delicate little design on it. You'll see that both of these designs have open areas in them, and because of that, I used water soluble sticky stabilizer. Um, if I wanted to do a design with denser stitches through the line, I would use a cutaway adhesive stabilizer. I've had so much fun making this design with you. Stick around to hear more about the Eversone Spare Wax. A special thanks to our sponsor, Eversone. I'm having so much fun making projects with my Eversone Sparrow X. If you'd like to get to know the machine a little better, you can download the Eversone Pro app right now. You can find it in the App Store or Google Play Store. And to learn more about the machine, check out the link in the description below for a walkthrough video. Thanks for watching.